This is a question to test your chart reading skills. On what frequency can a pilot receive hazardous in-flight weather advisory service, HIWAS, in the vicinity of Area 1? Now, as we look at our possible answers, we might be inclined to jump to 122.0 because you may recognize that as being flight watch. That is a frequency designated for in-flight weather advisories whereby just about anywhere in the United States above 5,000 feet you can call 122.0 and get a hold of a specialist at the flight service station for in route weather information. So let's look at the chart. In the vicinity of Area 1 we see we have a, a VOR and this little H indicates that this VOR carries the HIWAS transmission and the frequency would be 117.1. I know it's cut off but we just have to know that VOR frequencies and all VHF frequencies uh, that we use in our airplane begin with a 1. So it's 117.1. And what we would do to listen to HIWAS is turn on the speaker for this navigation radio and we'd be able to listen to the pre-recorded broadcast of in-flight weather advisories such as SIGMETs and AIRMETs. Valid until 2100 Zulu. Mountain obscuration for California. Mountains obscured by clouds, mist. AIRMET Tango, update 2, valid until 2100 Zulu. Turbulence. Whenever there is a high was in a region, air route traffic control uh, is alleviated from the need to broadcast air mets and sig mets. What they will do is whenever there's a high was update, they'll make an announcement saying something like, attention all aircraft, hazardous weather information is available on high was flight watch or flight service frequencies. And what you do is refer to your navigation chart here to find your nearest high was station. So back to our question, A is the correct answer.